Hello, I'm Doug Simmers with the Rosemont Analytical Division of Emerson Process Management. Analyzers are a little different than instruments that measure physical quantities like pressure, temperature, flow, and level. An analyzer measures the actual composition and properties of your process. Now analyzers do have difficulties. They're more complex than your typical pressure temperature transmitter. They're usually measuring in a low percent or parts per million levels, so they can tend to drift more and require more frequent calibrations. The model 6888 is an in situ flue gas analyzer for measuring the oxygen remaining in the flue gases from any large combustion process such as a furnace or a boiler. <clears throat> the product has no moving parts. It has a sensing cell at the bottom that actually measures the oxygen. It is a field rebuildable device. So the sensing cell, the diffuser, the entire guts can be removed and replaced in the field for repair. Customers frequently ask me, how often do I need to calibrate my flue gas analyzer? The answer is, it varies, depending on the amount of sulfur and other acids in your flue gases, and also depending on the age of the sensing cell. A new sensing cell may last six months before it requires its next calibration. Conversely, a sensing cell that's near the end of its life after several years may require calibration on a weekly basis. Most customers do calibrations on a time since last calibration basis, which is typically once a month, once a week, perhaps once a quarter. This instrument offers a feature called calibration recommended diagnostic. On an online basis, it determines when it needs to be calibrated, so it eliminates many unnecessary calibrations that you may be conducting today. Additionally, this new instrument has calibration solenoids and electronics right inside the head of the probe. So when the calibration recommended diagnostic determines that it needs to be calibrated, your gas bottles are hooked up to here continuously and the solenoids will pop and gases will be introduced to the sensor all online while the furnace is still operating. In addition to integral AutoCal, this instrument offers several other unique features, such as plug diffuser. If you're in a process that has high particulate matter, like coal-fired boiler with fly ash, or a cement kiln, okay, or a biofuels bo boiler with much particulate matter, this analyzer will diagnose when the filter on the end of the probe needs to be replaced. <clears throat> This analyzer also offers safety features for uses in hazardous areas, such as refineries uh, and chemical plants. It offers a feature that, a lot, that will turn the heater off on the hot sensor when a flame is lost at the burner front. It offers a heaterless capability where it can run without a heater at all if the process temperatures are at least 550 degrees centigrade. And lastly, it offers an instrument air purge capability, placing a safety purge over the hot sensing cell during conditions that may be dangerous. Finally, this analyzer offers a stoichiometric feature, which permits an operator to know when he's gone into reducing conditions. Instead of just going to zero and stabilizing at zero, this analyzer can actually record readings below zero so that the operator knows that he is actually in reducing conditions. So in summary, the 6888 is a flue gas analyzer measuring the remaining oxygen from any combustion process. That can be a large power boiler, uh, an industrial furnace, or uh, a university power plant. It is no moving parts, low maintenance instrument, and the newest version offers several unique features, including integral auto cow, okay, safety features for uses in hazardous areas, 
and plug diffuser diagnostics. Thank you.